So I wanted to come on here and talk about something that is really starting to annoy me. So I applied for a job at TJ Maxx a few weeks ago and they denied my application. They couldn't even call me. They just sent me some automated email. So I went in today and I was like, so what was the reason I didn't get hired? And she was like, oh, like, you just, like, don't have enough experience. There was candidates that had, like, more experience than you. And, you know, I asked her if it was about my tattoos, obviously, because I know a lot of places don't like tattoos. She said that wasn't the reason. I don't feel like that's true, but whatever, I'll leave it at that. So I'm just wondering how, like, teenagers and young adults who haven't had a job before, um, how are they supposed to get employed if these places are only hiring people with experience? So younger people just can't get a job because they haven't worked enough? It is extremely hard to find a job right now. That's why you have to be careful which job you leave, you leave on good terms. You can always just call up the boss, the old boss, and let, hey, do y'all have any openings? Because, um, you know, a brother need a job real quick. I've been looking for a job since like the end of last year. And of course I didn't have like much luck. So of course, you know, sometimes I probably have to do a little bit of Uber, a little bit of DoorDash just to get some money in my pocket. But finding a job, a real job is literally hard to do right now. I need somebody to either call me back or when I call y'all, can y'all pick up the phone? And then when I send an email, can you at least send me a follow-up letting me know why I didn't get the position or at least the position has been filled or something? Like, be considerate. Like, come on now. Like, I'm looking for a job. Y'all need people because, of course, on Indeed, it says we are looking for people to hire. So if you're looking for people to hire, but you're not hiring nobody or you're not calling nobody or you're not picking up the phone, why do you have that application up? I'm unemployed, so I do not work right now. I got laid off about eight months ago, and my job right now is to find a job. I've applied to hundreds of places, but since I live in the middle of nowhere, it's hard to find work locally. It seems companies do not offer remote work anymore, so I've applied to a few jobs like that and heard nothing back. And I've applied to relocate, but it seems to me companies aren't that interested to do that anymore. I'm a mechanical engineer. I hold a bachelor's degree of science in mechanical engineering, and I've had it for a decade. I've been a part of nine vehicle product launches, and the Rally Fighter was the second vehicle I helped launch. I also helped build some of the first functional electric semi-trucks in the United States of America at two separate companies. My highest position was lead manufacturing engineer, and during most of my engineering career, I lived inside of this thing, and I saved a lot of my income. So as far as work right now and financial problems, well, I'm living off of savings, which isn't so bad. It's not so bad because I've lived a debt-free lifestyle since 2015. So everything I have from vehicles, property, things I live in, everything's paid off 100%. So I don't have any monthly payments of any kind to a mortgage company or some sort of bank. So coming up on a year of unemployment, I got to decide what I'm going to do. Do I continue looking for a job? Do I become a full-time influencer? Or do I start making products for myself as being self-employed? I've applied to about 150 jobs between October to now, and I'm... Guys, people are really underestimating how hard the job search is in 2024. Hundreds of applications, hundreds of rejections, being ghosted by recruiters, getting to the final round, and then being rejected. The job search in 2024 is absolutely brutal. I can't find any job, it feels like, that wants to pay me enough to live. Okay, update. I'm still unemployed. Woo! I love that! I actually hate it. Um, I've applied to over 50 jobs. So it's really bad out here. There are a lot of people talking about their experiences with just trying to find a job. I honestly will say I have not seen the job market this bad. Even thinking about back when I was trying to get my first jobs right after the Great Recession. And it's really tough right here. There's a lot of conversation on TikTok. I do encourage you to follow the creators. I will link them in the comment section. But what are you feeling right now? Because, you know, it's an election year. I understand that the sitting president and the party typically don't want news of a bad economy, but normal people are feeling it. 
I know that the experts or the economists, the Fed, they're typically behind on reviewing their data to say months later, oh yeah, we were in a recession. But normal people feel it. That's all that really matters. So I'd love to hear from you. Are you in a position where you're looking for a job or are you in a position where you have a job, but you're nervous to make a move because of the market? Or are you totally fine and you're just not feeling anything? Especially if you're someone that's in the U.S., there are conversations happening in the U.K. and other parts of the world. But I will say, you know, here in the U.S., there's a ton of conversations talking about how bad the market is. I also know someone in the U.K. who is also and has been for months has talked about how difficult it has been for them to find work as well. We'll love to hear your thoughts. Let me know what you think, and I will talk to you later. Oh my goodness, what is going on in the software engineering field right now? There are so many people without jobs right now. There are so many folks who are applying. I have been speaking to junior engineers, senior engineers, folks in the C-suite, and have been displaced, have been laid off, and are still currently looking for a role. If you're one of those individuals who are still looking for a role, let me give you some insight. So the sad part about it is if you're an entry level or a junior level uh, computer science or software engineer who's just emerging in the market, you have to compete with seniors who have been laid off from these companies and are competing for the same jobs that you are looking to get into. Companies know that they have to be very frugal with their cash. So if they have the opportunity to hire a senior level individual with more skills than you do, then they're more more likely going to accept a senior who is filling a mid-level role. If you are a a new and emerging software engineer trying to get into the market and still have yet to find that role, my suggestion would be is to go to these uh, small or startup organizations and look at their job boards, go to the career sections and look at their job boards and see what sort of roles are they hiring for. If you see uh, specifically like a software engineering role, look at what the general requirements or the requirements of that role is and do do some due diligence by going and upskilling yourself to meet those demands, to meet those requirements, because more than likely those sort of requirements are new and emerging and other organizations probably also need those sort of requirements or skill sets.